Hello, boys and girls, faculty and staff, and anyone else who's watching. This is another edition of Read Alouds with the Principal, and I'm Dr. Downs, your principal at J. Wallace James. This week, we are reading the book called Ish by Peter Reynolds. It is National Dot Day. This is what Ish looks like. It is National Dot Day uh, this week, and there's a book called Dot by Peter Reynolds, and we're going to read this book called Ish by Peter Reynolds. It's really good, and I think you're going to like it. Here we go. Quiz number 81654. Once again, quiz number 81654. Make sure you take that AR test, boys and girls. Raymond loved to draw. Anytime, anything, anywhere. One day, Raymond was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. <laughs> what is that? He asked. Raymond could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Raymond. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Raymond put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Raymond sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Raymond raced after Marisol up the hall and into the room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Raymond said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks like a vase-ish, she exclaimed. Vase-ish? Raymond looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on the Marisol's walls and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Raymond felt light and energized. Thinking Ishley allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Raymond once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled in his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, Fish-ish? Say that five times, boys and girls. Sunish. Raymond realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peaceish, sillyish, excitedish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poemish. One spring morning, Raymond had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Raymond lived ishfully ever after. The end. Boys and girls, that was Peter Reynolds' Ish. Excellent book. It's got a great message. Come check it out at your library and see Miss Graffio and Miss Green. They'd be happy to help you with books, including Ish. Uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, don't forget to be awesome today and every day. Thank you so much for uh, a wonderful week and a wonderful start to school, and we'll see you next week.